Hey, what's going on guys? This is Matt. And today we are going over cleaning the claw hammer brew in a bag system. I just completed a black IPA brew day, as you can see. Uh, everything is a mess. There is still beer in the lines. There's still beer and messy hop gunk in the kettle. So we're going to go over from start to finish the uh, the, uh, the cleaning process on the climber system. I figured this might be interesting for people who are interested in the climber brew bag system and for people interested in seeing what the cleaning process is like for electric uh, systems. So we are going to go ahead and get started. So as you can see, we uh, just completed the brew day. There is a bunch of uh, hop sludge in the uh, hop basket. And then there is a bunch of malt and hop gunk in the kettle. There's still beer in the brew lines. So we are going to head and gonna get started with cleaning this out. The uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're going to uh, clean out the hop debris and then we also have a bunch of grains sitting above the floor drain. So we are going to go ahead and go outside and dump this. Okay, now that we have the grain basket and the hot basket uh, cleaned out, we just have to clean out the kettle. And we're gonna clean a lot of the major debris outside with the hose spigot. Okay, so we just finished uh, dumping the kettle out outside. As you can see, it is dumped and I got a lot of the major debris out uh, outside. So the next thing we gotta do is start uh, cleaning the rest of the components, um, scrubbing and also flush the lines uh, and cleaning the element. So let's get started. Next, we're gonna hook up the quick disconnects to the hot outfitting on the wall to fill up the kettle with hot water to flush the lines. So we went ahead and ran hot water through the pumps, the tubes, and the kettle. As you can see, 
everything is about 90% clean. So the kettles or the tubes. And then we also have um, all of that had hot water running through it for about two minutes. Now we have to add some PBW to the mix and then recirculate the PBW for about 20 minutes. The one thing we want to make sure too is the plate chiller. Uh, we want to make sure the PBW runs through the in to the out and then the out to the in uh, for probably about 10 minutes each. So we make sure all the plates and the plate chiller gets cleaned both ways as hop debris and other things can get caught in the plate chiller. So we're going to go ahead and get the PBW started recirculating. So I just added the PBW and it is recirculating now. Right now it is going through from the kettle, the pump, and the plate chiller into the kettle. And I'm gonna have it run like this for about 10 minutes. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to swap the input and the output to the plate chiller. That way I make sure the plate chiller gets clean. And uh, then after 20 minutes total, it should be good to go. Then I'll rinse it with hot water. Okay, so it's been a little bit more than 20 minutes on the PBW clean. Next, we're going to drain out the PBW and start rinsing with hot water. So we are gonna first drain the kettle of as much PBW as we can. And then we are going to start running hot water into the kettle while I turn the pump on to flush the PBW hot water mixture out of the kettle and the lines. Eventually this should be running clear of just hot water. That way we know it is clean. All right, so we just finished up clearing out the PBW from the lines and the brew kettle. The lines are up on the wall and the brew kettle, we just finished up. So it is nice and clean for the next brew day. So we'll let that air dry, but that's about it. That really covers it. So really you just clear it out, dump what you need to, wash out the big stuff, PBW and uh, and then rinse with hot water. That's about it. PBW makes it very easy. You just want to make sure that the PBW is cleaned out well. You do not want any of that in the beer. Um, but yeah, that about covers it. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you learned something. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.